Hello, welcome back to Lug's Place The Ultimate Doom. This is episode uh, 427, uh, 16. Uh, and this episode is called The Spawning Vats. It's E2M7. Uh, it started quite hectic there. <laughs> it started quite hectic. Because I think the last one uh, finished just as hectically. Hectically a word? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, what was that? This is, I think, I think I remember reading something like it's one of the originally mooted levels for Doom. Please don't let me forget to show you the map, what the map looks like at the end. Like right now it looks, it looks pretty pony, but at the end it will look absolutely splendiferous. It's a, a beautiful use of space, and I mean beautiful, it's absolutely immense. Right, I'm just being ultra careful here. Now, got a big warehouse room with some demons in it. We're going to ignore those just for now. I'm just going to play in here first. Oh, I thought, didn't think you could get down there then. That was uh, nearly costly. Oh, okay. Now, there is a super armor there. We're not. Oh, sugar. Sorry about that. <laughs> God, that shit me up. That is a rendering process finishing, folks. Um, my bad. Oh, sorry, an encoding process. Oh my god, that scared me. Uh, anyway, yeah, that is uh, absolutely mint. Let's not worry about it. So we're going to get that uh, armour in a little bit. We probably will need it, because we're going to get a bit of a pound in, in one of these rooms, definitely. I know we've got 200 health and 170 armour. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Right, now we're going to get a bit of a batter in. Because we now have no escape back out of the real world. It's going to be good what we do. That's not entirely brilliant because we're now trapped. Run, 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 run. No, don't get that, 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 don't get that. What do you get this? That'll do. Now let's punch some demons in the face. Just go with them, right? What's that? Oh, yeah, boy. Don't know why that opened, but I'm happy. Serve some ammo for a little bit. Punch some demons, you know. And again, folks, I'm doing my tried and tested method of as they come towards you, just ever so slightly step backwards. So as I'm getting in, I'm actually already stepping backwards as I'm hitting the first hit. That's why you'll see I miss call quite a lot. Oh, one on one. Come on, one on one. Yeah, you were better with all your mates around, weren't you? Now, there's a reason I didn't get that invulnerability is fixed. We're going to need it very, very shortly. Aren't they weird? It's so odd. It's sort of kind of hypnotizing. Because we are going to go through here. And through here is an open area, darling, that's uh, got some bodies in it. Now, I'm wondering. Oh, yeah, I definitely set them off. Right, I'm going to actually grab it now and go and take them on fist to fist. Let's do this. Let's do this shit. Come on, where are you? There it is. Just go toe to toe to the friggin' hell knife. Come on! Yeah! And you. And you as well. Again, as soon as you get an invincibility uh, sphere, guys, do just use it, like, gratuitously. Do use it for bloody everything. Up here. Now, I will show you this in a second. I'm gonna use this for all it's worth, just for now. Now, this is cool. So, now that's war enough, I can come back here. So, as we walk through here, this is where our invulnerability square was, we walk through. We have a pool in the middle, and we have like a load of little mobs and stuff. We have a Hell Knight, two Cacodemons that need to punch him. Okay. What's this? Oh, a button. I wonder what that does. Good for us, we've got a blue key. And that blue key sets nothing off, which is brill. And we'll open that door in a sec. Just hang on. Now, as you walk past, you, you, you wouldn't be like odd if you totally missed this bit here. As you walk up, you're going to have some imps to face. Um, I think I melted them with my Fist of Fury. Then, as you turn back on yourself again, you get another little room. Press this button, swing around, and you get your first secret. A secret is revealed! Um, which is good. That's secret one, I think. Yep, secret one. Uh, good secret. Good secret, good secret. Uh, sort of semi-useless, but you know, these things happen. Let's press this button. What the hell does that do? Okay, that's quite terrifying. That's good. Have you all... 
Honestly, I didn't even notice it there. Not very well. It's been a long time since I played this Um. Die! Bloody ammunition in there, isn't there? <laughs> right, cool. Nothing in there. So, let's scoot back around. Okay. Exactly the way we came. So, just exactly the way we came. I'm going to pick these shotgun shells up. Anything more in here? Anything good? No, everything's dead now. Brilliant. As we swing by, let's grab that power armor. We didn't actually get hit very hard, did we, I suppose? Let's have that. Oh, it's still lols. 199 and 200 is a pretty good going. Let's keep going then. Okay, so back in the start room, but we've now got a blue key. So let's head right at the start room now. We've got a blue key door straight away. Now we've got some uh, yellow bitches to kill. I'm still calling them yellow bitches, I know. Uh, kill him, because he's a bit of a nuisance later on. Go through the blue key door. Blue key door, I don't see drum being super difficult, I just think it seems to be a bit odd. In fact, I'll tell you what, we're going to leave the blue key door, we're going to clear this out from the other side first, right? So we're going to head right, head through here. Lots to kill in here, folks. Lots to kill. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go a bit mental. Run, run, dodge, dodge, dodge. <gasps> oh, it hit me right at the last minute, you see that? Now I've still got a berserk pack from before, so I should be able to knock this guy out pretty quickly. Be able to punch all these imps in the face and let's die really quickly. So, uh, there is some extra secrets in here, so we're going to go out here, uh, which is in these sort of circular rooms. Second on your right, leads us outside to some extra little bits of secrets. And it's very, very dark out here, which is why I tried to come out here with my uh, lampshade on my head. Lampshade on my head? Why did I say lampshade on my head? Of all the things I could have said, I said lampshade on my head. Apparently that, that makes you invincible. If you if you are at home now, please go and find the nearest lampshade, shade, pop it on your head, send me a picture of it to oh my god at twitter.com. Um uh, to twitter.com slash logos thirty six, you know, picture of you with your lampshade on your head, your invulnerability face, that's what I wanna see. Please don't don't ruin your mum and dad's lamps, that would not be a good shout. Please don't do that. So as we come out of this this place here, so we walk in, we fought some imps, we went and punched that one in the face, we turn right, we go into a big open area. Over here is a plasma gun which we picked up, but as you come out of your little ship, as you come out of your little door, turn right and then right again, you get an armor if you need it, and there's a button on the wall. Press the button, you get a second secret being revealed, which is now our third secret because this entire courtyard counts as a secret itself, which is pretty cool. Well, I think it's cool. You might think it's shit. You might be tempted to shut up, but you know you don't have to watch it. Well, please do though. So there's the uh, the Church of Michael Palin symbol. Um, praise be to Michael Palin and let's keep going right now around here should be the exit I think oh no oh I'm wrong that's okay though sometimes it's okay to be wrong folks you know it's 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 fine oh Jesus now oh, where are you teleporting to where could you possibly teleport to there's nothing here and back right that's okay that's fine that's not terrifying it's fine so as you come in turn right you got the radiation sort of pools, okay? I think this is where maybe like they're like sort of creating the new kids sort of stuff. What the hell was that? Oh my god! That was the best dodge ever, but that's fine. Let's just double check we're not being followed. Because here, that's where the exit is. Here's the exit, and here's a thing. Right, we're going to come to that in a bit though. Let's not worry about it yet. And a red key door. The red key door we need, we need to open when we've got the red key. So in here, we've actually got a secret, so we can run across. Please don't, please don't, please, 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 please. Okay. Okay. That was, oh, that was good, guys, that was good. A secret is revealed! Uh, now, good secret. Because, as we go through, we actually end up on a, a lava pool. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, what have we do. Oh, look at this up. Why are there always so many rockets? Now, I don't know if I get hurt on this. Yep. 
Now, I don't have a red key, so I can't press that button anyway, so I don't know what I'm bloody playing at. But I'll show you that one in a bit. That's actually the fifth secret. Okay, okay. Right. Now. Where's the other secret gone, then? I'll work it out. Let's not worry about it yet. So we've got secrets galore so far. Secrets galore. Um, and we're sort of getting there. Let's go in our blue room. So, blue. Up to the top to get my little gunner room. Straight upstairs first, folks. On your left and on your right, you've got a pinky. You've got a demon. Be careful. There's a secret around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. That sixth one's going to be elusive now, isn't it? What a terrible shot that was, Christopher. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Oh, I hit it. Shit, but I hit it. Okay. So, dead simple little uh, navigation room. Press that button. That's the button you need to press for later. Good shot. Three? Three seems like an odd number, doesn't it? Always seems like an odd number of mobs. So, there we go. Down we pop. Okie dokie. And breathe. Right, okay. No. Yes? No. Downstairs now. So we've been upstairs. <laughs> Freaking hell, guys. I am terrible at this game. Right, okie dokie. Okay. Just, just take it easy, guys. You know, just chill out. You know, stop being, stop panicking, guys. Stop panicking! This is good. This is good. Probably didn't know what hit him. This is good. We've got this. We've got our yellow key. We get to kill imps. You know, it's like a life thing come true, guys. I mean, come on. Get stuffed. Get our yellow key. And here, we get a new area. Now, loads of different ways into this area, but this area's got the red key in it, so we're going to drop down anyway. Just be careful. Many imps. Many, many imps. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> right, I've got to stop saying Jesus. My mum's going to fucking kill me. Christopher, stop saying Jesus on the internet. Oh, my Christ. That was fucking terrifying. Right. You know what I said? Look for imps everywhere. And I went... And just stood there like a mushroom. Right, well, don't do that. Why are you, why are you allowed to live? Right, what's in it? What's in it? Oh, this is a cacodemon. No. No. Yeah, bitch. What's that? Something's opening doors, guys. Something's opening doors. They've become sentient. They're self-aware. Right, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna run. Stop opening and closing doors, guys. It's terrifying. What was that? What was that? Do it's them up. Right. At least we now know which what's opening the frigging doors and terrifying me. Oh my god! Look, look at this map. Look at this map, folks. Look at it. How beautiful is this map? It's a work of absolute <gasps> look, genius. I mean, just look at it. Oh, man. Look at, look at They've used the space. If you think you are a level designer, if you think that's what you want to do in real life, right, this is a work of absolute genius. G absolute genius. So, yeah, if you think you're going to be a level designer... Contemplate this one, okay? Just for me, just for old Lugsy. Contemplate this one. By the way, this is where all the, the, the imps were. I don't actually know how they got out. So let's not worry about that. That'll have to terrify me later. Oh, look! That's where we were before when we were shooting them all. Right, that makes sense. See, look! It all works out! Jesus. That's a good shot. That's dead, man. Okay. What are you? Right, as we go through here then, we need him. As we press this, you'll see my little red key comes down. How many monsters have we got left? I've got one more monster left. One more mo Where the hell is it? Must be the end. Right, now, I've got my red key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the beginning. Now, 
I'm actually going to head back to the beginning a different way. So as I come out the yellow key door, I turn a left and then left again. And that leads us to a, a door we might have seen before. Of course, these are electrified, by the way. Don't stand in them. As we come out, look, we've got the exit there and we've got that red key door that we were looking for before. Now, do you remember that red key switch that I told you about that we couldn't press because we didn't have the thing? Let's go and find that. So, back through the radiation room, into the teleporter, pressing the button. Now, I'm actually stood on... It's like Soul Sand from Minecraft, actually, doesn't it? Press the button. Nothing happens, but I do get a secret being revealed! Oh, which is good. So let's zoom back. Now, again, nothing happens. It looks like nothing happens, okay? So what you do now is you head back to the start. Okay? So you go right back to the start. It's like nothing had ever happened in the first place. Okay, and as you're there now, that's where we started. We've now got a supercharge and... A massive energy cell, which is awesome. Which is also our final secret being revealed. So that's good. I've just stopped saying revealed now. That's terrible. So let's head on through the big red corridor into the big red corridor that falls into this bit. There's a mob in here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? It must be in that room. Or maybe it's there. There you are. Demon. Nothing to worry about. Those are quick enough. We're going to be alright. Okie doke, folks. That was the spawning vat. And what I'm actually going to do is you'll be able to see an overlay of this beautiful level now. And I'll do like a big like, fly around of it because, I mean, come on, guys. What's not to love? I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. I'm just going to swing. Look at how... Look, right. They've got a square to work with. And look at how much of it they've used. I mean... That is just, it's breathtakingly brilliant. I mean, I know it's 2013 and I'm talking about a basically a 2D level sort of thing. Or, and it's 3D, but it's one plane, isn't it? You can't have anything overlap or anything. That is just incredible though. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, switch out that view because if I fall in there, I'm dead. Let's go through and we have now finished the spawning vats M7, which means we're leading to M8, which I thought was this, but now I'm going to change my mind. It's not this. This is the end of the third uh, third episode. So, that was the spawning vats. Let's see how we did. Spawning vats. Kills. A hundred. Items. A hundred. Secrets. A hundred. We're freaking rocking and rolling. This is looking good. We're in 17 minutes. This is good times. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Luggage. You've been watching Lugs Play. I love you very, very much. Love you.